Hello again, Doc on the Clock with more Mega Maker Madness! And today we have Frozen Stars, created by Robot Links. <laughs> Let's see what this one has to offer. Looks like a lot of uh, newer style weapons, so, and base. We have a double jump. We also have a rapid fire, which is not doing all that much. Well, I have, yes, I have all these weapons already. And thankfully, the mirror buster is piercing, so uh, we don't have to deal with uh, ooh, the long delays while uh, those shots just don't do anything. We do have to deal with ice physics, stuff. Uh, and with poor uses for shield weapons. Whoa! Oh, interesting. It's going to wait a little bit longer to get rid of that guy, because he's kind of in my way. Now we got Telly Madness. That probably isn't the most efficient use of my weaponry. There is something down here. There's health down here, and a Sniper Joe, who clearly failed the jumping challenge. Too bad for him, he does not have two jumps like I do! I have a lot of good weapons for, uh, ooh. Dealing with sniper jokes. I'm very happy about that. Very good thing when you have like a hundred different sniper jokes. Not letting enemies live. What is this madness? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'd probably have to come at that from above. Or, you know, I could be smart and remember that I have the wheel cutter. Whoa! Okay, I don't need that health, so don't bother. Um... I don't like you at all. Okay, you are li are living just because you're very inconvenient to fight. You're not just because I feel like it. Clever, but uh, I don't think I'm interested in uh, High jump, please. Thank you. Dancing around on the bombs there in order to kind of just take him down. Hello there, Blast Man. Can I actually uh, use Mirror Buster on you? Yeah, I can, but there's no real point to it. Like that. Doesn't like that. He may or may not care about that. I'm not really sure. 
I haven't tried wheel cutter yet. Or water shield yet. I've tried wheel cutter. It didn't work. Okay. Yeah, that's not very good either. I would have a lot better luck at beating this guy if I actually hit him with this weapon. Yeah! Wait, you can power gear! That can't be allowed, I can't do that! That was a fun stage. I'm not really sure where the stars came in play, unless they were talking about the nighttime whole uh, aesthetic, but yeah, that was pretty good. Okay. Four levels in one. That sounds scary. I don't want to go for that. Dark Meta Knight by Art Man. A boss from Mega Man 42 has made a stage here. Be very afraid. Oh, I guess I'm Dark Meta Knight. Since I have the sword and the uh, NATO and all that. The temptation to put Snake Eater in there. You have no idea how great it is. Why is this... Why is this a thing? What even is this? This was nothing. This was one gigantic ladder. And then a boss. Stop making not stages, please. Test oh, that's not. Okay, Toxic Seahorse. This is, uh... That's a boss from Mega Man X3. The SNES Mega Man X game that I played, like, very little of. And then even again, I didn't play it on the SNES, I played it on the PlayStation. Because, you know, it was part of a collection. Okay, I was... Okay, so, um... So, apparently like, clicking buttons speeds you past that screen now? I'm pretty sure that wasn't the case before. Anyway, we're in Toxic Seahorse, apparently. We've got everything except the Rain Flush. We got Flash Bomb, Thunder Claw, Shadow Blade, Perfect Freeze, Black Hole Bomb, Lizard Attack, and, uh, Drill Bomb, as well as Wheel Cutter, for whatever reason. So I'm pretty sure these are meant to imitate, uh, Mega Man X3 weapons. If I remembered the weapons better, I'd tell you what they were. Things are pretty poisonous around here. I need to be careful. There's also far too many conveyor belts. By which I mean there are any conveyor belts. Okay. Now I can get this health. Some not so generous respawn over here. Okay. Careful. Yeah. Also, a lot of upwards that feels kind of 
Feels like a kind could kind of be cheesed if I so desired. I'm not going to cheese it if I don't have to, but. I have absolutely no idea how well this imitates uh, the actual Toxic Seahorse stage. Because, again, I remember very little about that. <laughs> Played it like, once, twice in my life. <laughs> To get Super Adapter! And then go to this very open area with a lot of squids. Go in there. There was some madness over there. I don't know what. I'm not. Maybe I am getting up there. Oil slider. This is some... Um... Oh. That didn't go so well. I mean, it went well to start with, and then I, it just kind of went badly once I played terribly. Is there anything down there that's worth going for? Hey! Too much there, I think. Again, see if I can get that E tank this time. Just need to be more prepared. Like that. Alright. Now that we have dealt with all of that issue. The, I can go through here. I can, but it doesn't really amount to anything. Uh, Bubble Man, what are you doing here? You're being immune to everything. Or not immune, but not weak to anything. Uh, you're weak to ice? Really? 
All right. I don't know why you're weak to ice, but yeah, whatever works. Another vertical room, which seems like it could be very easily cheesable. And Blizzard Attack not doing all that much. Drill Bombs usually significantly more useful. They're so powerful. Die here. All right, let's see. What are you going to be weak to, Crystal Man? Pretending you're a toxic seahorse? Ice too, huh? Everything here is weak to ice. Why is everything here weak to ice? I mean, why not? I guess any weakness is a weakness, I suppose. Just don't know why it's ice. Anyway, yeah, I'll give that a thumbs up. That was. A well-constructed level overall, and hey, we are in the 400,000s now. Of course, all of my submissions on my list are still in the 300,000s, so we shall be seeing more of those numbers. Anyway, that's all for me for now. Until next time, this is Doc. I'll see you later.